So, you wish to speak to me after class? Is there something wrong? You wish to tell me something? Hmm. Well, you seem quite nervous, if I'm not mistaken. If you are not ready to tell me what you... What is on your mind, then you don't have to. Professors aren't supposed to force their students to tell them how they feel, so there's no pressure. You want to tell me, okay? Well, then there's no reason to hold back now, is there? It is me, Kazumi Mishima, after all. I am glad I can be a professor you trust. But what about it? Well, that was quite straightforward, or... I guess it wasn't straightforward, but... Well, I'm quite proud of you. So you're a lesbian. I am glad you came out to me. <laughs> there have been a lot of rumors with you and some boy, and... I keep hearing about it, but... Oh yes, it's very strange rumors, and I'm sure you've heard about it. I'm glad you were able to come out to me. Because that tells me you enjoy my teaching, or perhaps just personality in general. But truly, I am proud of you for being in the community, and especially since it is after all pride month is that correct <laughs> yes that's why i hung up the lgbtq flag in my room i also um hang hung up my flag near my desk yep yep did you trust me because you enjoy my class or is it because i basically came out to the class once I put my flag up. Both? Okay. <laughs> no, seriously, I am very happy for you. I am very glad you were able to tell me. Why did you tell me? Why were you nervous? I mean, I know it's difficult to come out, especially to teachers. If you don't wish me to tell your parents or anything, of course I won't. Teachers aren't supposed to share that kind of information if they're not allowed to, or told, or if they, they are told not to. That's quite rude. Have, has anybody been picking on you because of this? I hope not, and if not, of course you can tell me and I will do something about it. But, yeah, I'm very proud of you, and thank you for coming out to me. That is, that is a very good thing to do. Oh, how to come out to your parents. Well, I can definitely lend advice for that. Um, yeah, of course I can. Um, okay, so first I suggest, what I suggest to you is seeing their stance on the LGBTQ community in general. And since it is Pride Month, in fact, you could ask something like or you could say something like my friend just came out to me as trans and i don't know how to help them or something like that if like you could just bring it up in a very vague way not giving anything away it's just completely unrelated to you in general see what their reaction is it doesn't have to be just what they say it could be their body language it could be the facial expressions it could be change in tone it could be anything like you could also be like can I get an LGBTQ flag for Pride Month or something like that? It could be anything. And they wouldn't know anything. It would be just like, oh, I just want to support 
I just want to support the people who are LGBTQ and I want to get a flag. Like, that could be all. Or people at school are showing up with these flags and I want one too. That's all you could do. Once you see the stance on it, methods of coming out to them, if they are supportive, it, if they're supportive, that's really easy. If they're not supportive, I don't know exactly how. As, as long as they're not abusive, you could always find out ways to tell them. Like, But if you don't, if you're really bad at telling people in person, which I'm glad you were able to tell me in person, because that requires a lot of strength. I remember when I had to come out to my parents. I've been gay for a quite long time. And it was terrifying, but my father was a little less supportive, but he, I came out to him and everything was okay. So that might not, not be the same for a lot of people. And we're celebrating Pride Month because we know a lot of people can't come out. A lot of people died over, um being gay and having a pref preference as to who you wish to date and it's really sad but if they are supportive and you're not just, you're just not good at any verbal communication i suggest sending it through a text message and i know that it's like damn i can't do it because it's a text message or if you try doing a note to them perhaps that'll be difficult too but I don't know, perhaps sex message is the way to go. You just, like, look away, and then you send it, and then you look back, and it's already sent, and you can't do anything about it. And then you're like, wow, I feel accomplished. And then you start regretting it, but then you won't regret it, and then you'll be very glad. But that's what I suggest. Um, another vague way of doing it, just, like, slick in ways they won't suspect it, is, like, Hey, can I get this merch of your flag? Which is the lesbian flag, of course. So you could do that. You could be like, Wow, men are so gross. I don't really want to date any. Like, if they ever, like, bring up, like, Do you have a boyfriend yet? Like, you could just say, I'm not really interested in boys. Like, that's a lot of ways you could come out. There's a lot of ways and numerous ways. that No way is the wrong way. So I suggest just doing what you're comfortable with. Ask your friends who may already be out of the closet for advice, perhaps. Because, honestly, I I don't know if one person's advice is going to help you out very much. Yeah, so. Especially if it's an adult. <laughs> because I came up to my parents when I was like 18, I believe. So, yeah. So... I do wish you luck on your journey of coming out and stuff. Um, I'm glad we had this talk. I, however, am a professor and I would like to go home, if that's okay. Um, but yes, I was very glad we can have this talk. I will see you tomorrow and don't forget you to do your homework then, okay? Okay, thank you. Alright, goodbye. It was very nice talking to you.